Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban knife style and jungle survival. Today, we're going to have a look at my favourite Swiss Army knives, and I'm going to break down the favourite knives I like to carry for different activities. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so now to support the channel. Thanks. All these Swiss Army knives I own are Victoria Knox. I personally think they are the best Swiss Army knives available and you can get almost any configuration of tools that fit your needs. Now, there are several sizes of Swiss Army knives, but the most popular are the 84mm, 91mm and 111mm. So over here, we have an 84mm knife. So this is the Cadet in the ALOX scales, which is basically the metal scales. Now, what I like about this is it's just so thin and compact. It feels really good. Now, because there's this kind of a ridged finish, uh, textured finish, uh, you do feel that it's a nice smooth grip. And for this, you get very basic tools. You get that main blade. You also get the standard can opener with screwdriver, flat head screwdriver or flat, yeah, flat head screwdriver with that cap lifter and wire stripper. And you also have a small blade over here. So just the very basic tools, but just look at that profile. Uh, what I like about this is because it's just so slim, so compact, uh, and looks just so cool as well with this uh, Alox metal finish in black. So that's why this is one of my favorite knives. Uh, it goes into uh, my blackout uh, kind of an EDC pouch or when I need to use it for survival tins and pouches as well. So just an overall, I think, a great knife for that size. Now, the next knife uh, is also 84mm in length. And this I actually like uh, for going for light hikes because this is the Victorinox Walker. And what you have is that main blade. You have this combination screwdriver with a cap lifter. I believe someone told me you can open cans of it as well. And a wire stripper. So what I like about this is because it's got that saw. So when you are out uh, going for a hike in the jungle, in the forest, uh, you might need a tool where you might need to prep fire in a survival situation or if you're just you know, wanting to start a fire, you don't want to carry uh, a lot of gear because you're going for a light hike and for whatever reason you want to start a fire, having wood saw can be very uh, invaluable in this case with your pocket knife. And with the saw, it's still a very compact package as you can see. Definitely not as thin as the cadet but still very manageable in size the scales for this is the nylon scales which is considered the budget scales but i do like it for outdoor use because it doesn't get scratched up so much i also have tools in terms of the tweezers in the scales and what i have is actually switched out the toothpick for this firefly uh, ferro rod so this is a very popular third-party add-on where you replace the toothpick with this ferro rod which allows you to create sparks if you use the wire stripper tool over here. So in a previous video, I shared how to make uh, Swiss Army knife fire kits and I actually have a little capsule with uh, cotton inside which is infused with petroleum jelly. And this allows me then uh, to use the ferro rod to light up the cotton when I need it, just like that. So when you're using something like this, what you want to do is you want to always to pull the rod against this wire stripper and you want to put the wire stripper at an angle so it really cuts into the ferro rod to create those sparks. So for light hikes, I think this is great to put in the pocket and it just gets lost. You don't even know it's there, but if you need a knife, it's right there. Now my favorite EDC Swiss Army knife has to be this. Now, I've carried many different versions over the years, including the climber, the hiker, uh, the tinker at one point. But when I discovered the compact, I felt this is really the perfect EDC knife. And I actually carry it in my EDC pouch over here, along with my flashlight and pen. And that just goes in like this. And that's why I do have a lanyard. And that's just so that I can pull it out when I need it, because that's quite a snug fit. But that's my EDC Swiss Army knife. And why I like the compact is it's got really all the tools that you need in an urban situation uh, from that, of course, the main blade, that combination tool over here, a pair of scissors, which is always great 
in an urban environment and it's also got the scale tools you've got tweezers you have a toothpick you also have a pen so actually i would have two pens with my edc kit but you know it's right there if i need it and there's a corkscrew and one of the things i like is the addition of this small mini screwdriver uh, that you can use uh, for you know small gadgets or glasses and of course there is also this hook which can be used uh, really to hold packages if you need or to just grip something right if you have cords or plastic bags you can actually slot it there and lift it for a better grip so overall as the name implies it's very compact so it is thicker than the walker uh, just by a bit but it's got just so many tools and i just carry this every single day i love it and this is a 91 mm uh, long swiss army knife so you can see slightly longer just by a few millimeters and finally my fourth favorite really i don't think it's any priority because it's really for different activities this is my go-to outdoor kind of bushcraft uh, folder so this is the swiss soldier and this is the largest or longest version at 111 millimeters so you can see substantially bigger the shape is also different there is a hole for a one-handed opening uh, for the blade this is a serrated blade as you can see with a straight edge uh, for just about one inch behind and that's a chisel grind uh, by the way so again different from uh, the rest uh, which is kind of your v or double bevels this also has a locking blade so which is different from these those are slip joints this is locking it's a liner lock uh, and you have to push it to this side which is to the right and that closes it up you also have got tools such as the flat head screwdrivers, can opener, combination tools. Uh, but this one is also against a liner lock. So this screwdriver is against a liner lock, which is quite useful as well. And as an outdoor knife, what you definitely need is a saw. And this is a great long saw, uh, much bigger than the one on the walker. So very useful. Uh, and you can get quite a lot done with this small compact saw. Unfortunately, this doesn't have a liner lock. I would have preferred if the liner lock was on the saw instead of that flathead screwdriver. But it's still great. Over here, we don't have the corkscrew, but there is a Phillips head screwdriver. And that's good uh, when you need to you know, unscrew uh, screws for gear that you might have outdoors. So I like this size because it's it's, it's nice and big and when you're out in an outdoor environment, uh, you really need a sturdy knife, especially if you're going to be using a knife uh, on a regular basis. Something like this, which you carry for a light hike, is a pocket knife that you might not even use, you know, uh, on a hike. It's just there, you know, you want it uh, for security in terms of wanting a knife on you. But for this, if you're going camping, going hiking, and you definitely will be using a knife uh, to cut wood, to cut cordage, to cut whatever you need to cut, then you want something more dependable. And I think this Swiss soldier is a great knife. So there you have it. Those are my four favorite Swiss Army knives. Let me know what are your favorites in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.